There's a side to you that nobody sees. It's the side that only shows in those quiet moments of early mornings and late nights, when you grind in silence while nobody's watching, when the world is quiet, and the only sound is the rhythm of your own effort. There are no distractions, no outside influences, just the raw honesty of your own mind. This battle, it's yours and yours alone. In those moments when you're grinding away in the dark hours while everyone else is sleeping, taking time off, or chilling out, you get miles ahead of everyone. You're going to reach a point where you're so much further ahead that they won't even understand how you can get that much stuff done. The secret to your success is going to be blood, sweat, and tears. But remember, when you start acting in your best interest and going above and beyond everyone else, you're going to lose some friends. Not everybody is going to approve of you. There are some people who won't like you. Who do you think you are? You think you're better than all of us? You're arrogant. What do you think you can do? You're selfish. When you hang around average people, all you're going to hear is average thoughts and opinions. They don't speak a winner's language. All they're going to tell you is what they think is possible based on their own limitations they've set in their mind. Don't let that noise affect you and your mindset. That's their limits, not yours. You may not be the fastest, the smartest, the strongest, or the best looking. You may not have the most articulate thoughts and ideas in the world. But what you've got is one more. When they get weak, you just keep coming. That's how you win in life. You keep getting after it, and you keep getting it done until the job gets done. So stand tall, keep fighting, never lose sight of your mission. The world may not see your battles, but they will damn sure see your victories. And when you stand victorious, you'll know that you earned every bit of it. You have made no progress. You might even be further from your goals than you were before, and that's not easy to come to terms with. You've wasted your energy and potential, but I think now it's finally time. Time to stop making excuses and face the harsh reality. You are your own worst enemy. Just take a second to really think about it. Why are you still stuck? It's because you're clinging to your old habits, your old self. You're comfortable in your mediocrity, hiding behind excuses and waiting for some miracle to change your life. But deep down, you already know it. Miracles don't happen. You make them happen. And for that, you have to do something, something drastic. You have to destroy your old self, the version of you that procrastinates, that blames others, that settles for less. You have to obliterate that weakness, strip it away until nothing remains but raw determination. Ask yourself, when the headphones come off and you're alone with your thoughts, what are you going to do? Will you remain a prisoner to procrastination and surrender to your weak side? Will you keep telling yourself, I will do it tomorrow. While your goals slip further away, will you let excuses and distractions hold you back? Because it's just one more video anyway. Or will you get up and do the work you have to do, even if it's just for an hour? The choice is yours. Because at the end of the day, no one is coming to save you, and no one is going to do the work for you. So, step up and take responsibility for your life. Be ruthless with yourself. Push harder than you ever have. Stop waiting for the right moment, because that moment is now. You've delayed long enough. Now it's time to act. Get up early, do what needs to be done, even when it's painful, even when it's exhausting, because that's what it takes. The next time you feel that drive slipping away, make it personal. Remember why you started in the first place. This isn't about instant gratification or easy wins. It's about forging a version of yourself that can withstand anything. A version that can prove your haters wrong. When they say you can't, show them you can. When they laugh, work harder. When they doubt, stand taller. Yes. Make your success so overwhelming that it drowns out every word of doubt. Just remember, you've faced tough times before, and you've come out stronger. This challenge is no different. It's meant to push you to your limits, to test how badly you want it. Embrace this difficulty. Life is not a straight line. It's a series of twists and turns, ups and downs. But it's in those twists and turns that you find your true self. Start by visualizing your goals. Feel them, taste them, live them in your mind. Let that vision fuel you every day. Make it vivid, make it real. Let it seep into your thoughts, your actions, your very being. Allow yourself to live in that future, even for a moment, and bring that energy into the present. Once you finally stop doubting and start believing, you will be able to make today the day you take that first step, and then another, and another, until you reach heights you never thought possible. Remember, the only limit to your impact is your imagination and commitment. So make it personal. Feel the urgency, the necessity of your mission. Let it consume you, drive you. Every day, remind yourself of why you started and let that reason guide you through every obstacle. This is your journey. Own it. Shape it. Conquer it. The best is yet to come. No one is coming. No one. If you've been waiting for someone to rescue you, to push you, to help you achieve your dreams, it's time to stop. The truth is you have to do it alone. You have to be your own hero. For that, you need to confront yourself. Look in the mirror and face the person who's been holding you back. It's not your circumstances. It's not other people. It's you. You've been waiting for a sign, for permission, for the perfect moment. But all you need is to decide. Decide that you're done waiting. Decide that you're going to take action now. 
And let me be clear, it's supposed to be hard, because the easy road leads absolutely nowhere. The fact that it is painful is the reason that it's working. Do you think you're going to get 50%, 70%, 80%? There are no discounts. You can't get 50% off. There are no shortcuts to success. When you really want it, you no longer hit the snooze button. You no longer lose focus when you're studying. You no longer take the easy route. You are willing to do whatever it takes. That means you don't go to sleep when you're tired. You go to sleep when you're done. Yes, you did some workouts. Yes, you studied a little bit. Yes, you put in some time, but did you put in the time required to make your dream become a reality? Success demands discipline. It demands commitment. It demands that you beat your old version again and again and again. You see, the person you were yesterday is not enough for the challenges of today and tomorrow. That's why you must be willing to destroy who you were and rebuild yourself into who you want to be every single day. Get up, take control, and do what needs to be done. You have everything you need within you and your future self will thank you for having the courage to step out of the prison which is comfort and into the life you were meant to live. You obviously don't want it badly enough. It's time to stay focused, to make that decision, to say, screw social media, screw procrastination, screw overthinking. It's time to become obsessed with being the baddest person that God ever created. Let me tell you something. It's okay to be unbalanced for a while. It's okay to throw everything you've got into your dreams and goals. If you want to be ordinary, you don't even have to listen to me. Just go on about your business. If you think ordinary is cool, no problem. There are some really wonderful ordinary people out there. But if you're watching this video and you have extraordinary aspirations, then you're going to have to do extra. There's no other way. You feel the fear of never reaching your potential, don't you? It's that feeling of always falling short, always quitting before you're done, always procrastinating, always not doing the right thing. And then one day, you're an old man, and you look back and go, God, I could have been great. It's so easy to be great nowadays, my friend, because most people are weak. So many people have the ability but refuse to get off that couch, refuse to study a few more hours, refuse to go deeper, to go further. It's going to show up when you don't want it to. It's going to show up at the worst possible time, just when you want to be successful. It's going to whisper, take the easy road, take the easy way out. The mind is a medieval beast, constantly fighting against you. It's the only thing in the history of the world that shows up on time, every time. It has a tactical advantage over you. It knows your fears, your insecurities. It knows everything about you. But you know what? You can't let that beast win. You can't let it dictate your life. You have to rise above it. You have to be willing to do what others won't. You have to be willing to sacrifice, to endure, to persevere. Because let me tell you something, nothing worth having comes easy. So are you ready to step up? Because if you are, then there's nothing stopping you. The world is yours for the taking. All you have to do is reach out and grab it. So go ahead, make the decision, make the commitment, make it happen.